Зараз ми знаходимося на Віноградарі. Пролетів снаряд, ми бачимо велику воронку. Що жахливо, що поряд знаходиться дитячий садок, з цієї сторони знаходиться школа. Шість будинків пошкоджено, ми бачимо, в якому вони стані. This is the mayor of Kyiv, Vitaly Klitschko. Окна вибити, і вони вже не придатні, не придатні для, для життя. Чотири дитини постраждала, один вбитий. Одна людина вбита і 19 зараз госпіталізовані. Ось такі от наслідки. Тут жахлива ситуація. Who many remember as heavyweight champion of the world in the sport of boxing? A new warning from the White House reveals Russia is resorting to more extreme tactics in Ukraine, including the use of hypersonic missiles, which can hit a target more than 1,000 miles away and reach speeds 10 times the speed of sound. And unlike other missiles, they can change course mid-flight, making them harder to intercept. President Biden signaling it's a sign that Vladimir Putin is getting more desperate. Even if this is the case, we are dealing with a madman who will not stop. Whoever tries to interfere with us, and even more so to create threats for our country, our people should know that Russia's response will be immediate and will lead you to such consequences that you have never experienced in your history. See what I mean? He continues to lie. Putin says he's only targeting military targets. Sorry. Video verified by ABC News shows the moment a missile hit a shopping mall in Kyiv, killing at least eight people. Here's a look at the vast facility before the strike and after. Much of it reduced to rubble. In Mariupol, Ukraine's military posting this video of hundreds of people who'd been taking shelter in the basement of a theater. In front and in back were banners in Russian reading children, big enough to be visible from the sky. Yesterday, Russia bombed it anyway. Where is military target? This building is military target. And Klitschko continues to rebuke him. And this is Klitschko saying he would rather die then give the city to Vladimir Putin. And here's the thing, it's not just Vitaly Klitschko, athlete turned politician taking up arms to defend his country. Vasily Lomachenko, one of if not the best at 135 pounds, enlisted in the defense forces as well. His upcoming fight against title holder George Cambosis was set to be an absolute must see in the sport of boxing. However, because of Vladimir Putin's invasion, the Cambosis fight will have to wait. Per ESPN's Mike Coppinger, after Lomachenko had agreed to a deal last month for a fight with Cambosis on June 5th in Melbourne, Australia, the two-time Olympic gold medalist has elected to remain in Ukraine with his family rather than leave the country for training camp. Cambosis' promoter, Lou DiBella, told ESPN. Cambosis even tweeted his support for the man they call Loma. I respect your decision and I totally understand and I pray for you and your country, Cambosis tweeted. Please stay safe and once I wipe the floor with Devin Haney, we will make this fight between two real champions. God bless. DeBella also told ESPN, how can anyone question? The fight he's going through right now is much bigger than any boxing match. We made a deal with him. The deal was literally done before the invasion. We wanted to give him any chance within reason with our allowable timetable. We have nothing but the utmost respect for his decision. Cambosis wanted to make sure once we made that deal that Loma had ample time to decide. We said all along we would try to make the biggest fights and we did that today. Lomachenko, the two-time gold medalist, won gold as featherweight in 2008 and gold as lightweight in 2012. The 34-year-old is a former champion in three separate weight classes. At 34, as we mentioned, he is a member of a territorial defense battalion in Ukraine, working as a security detail on the border during the war, which began last month when Russia invaded. Under martial law in Ukraine, men age 18 to 60 and deemed fit to serve are barred from leaving the country, but efforts were being made to allow elite athletes to depart. Which brings us to Alexander Usyk, the heavyweight champion of the world, also joined the Ukrainian army upon Russia's invasion. He is set to square off against the UK's Anthony Joshua, who he defeated and took the titles from in September 2021.
per ESPN once more. Usyk does not need permission to leave Ukraine because of an exception. In the law for parents of three or more children under the age of 18, Usyk has three children. Lomachenko has two. The timing of the encore encounter was in doubt after Usyk, 35, told CNN earlier this month, I really don't know when I'm going to be stepping back in the ring. My country and my honor are more important to me than a championship belt. However, it appears Alexander will be departing Ukraine and attempting to make his way to Poland to begin training camp in preparation for his fight.